the South African Ilsa Hayes is going to take on the line. It is Kata of France who comes in in second position. At the last Paralympic Games in London in 2012, Ilsa achieved a silver medal for a 100 meter sprint and a gold for her world class long jump. Now the talented track star is set for more golden glory in Rio. Well, Ilsa is quite obviously an incredible athlete. What is it about her that sets her apart? Yes, I think I've been lucky enough to know Ilsa for the last what, 10, 12 years and to see the journey and how she grows. And, and I think the one thing that always stood out for me is her incredible self-discipline. But I think the other thing is just like the ability actually to see the challenges and grow from that and become better and better and better. And I think oh, her performances has shown that the later in her life, she's running the best times. It's just challenging yourself every time to be better. How important is training at this stage? Are you intensifying just before the games? Uh, physically, the training is important, but it's actually more about rest and recovery and becoming getting your body at the ultimate stage where you actually can produce a, that um, best performance specifically for the sprinters. So you need to rest enough to hit that um, ultimate level. And then, then the um, psychological part, the mindset, and it's becoming more and more important to set yourself up for, for the games. Fortunately, a sense of determination against all odds is something Ilsa developed from an early age. What an incredible training ground. I know, welcome to my office. Yeah, it's beautiful mountains. Yeah, so it's awesome training here. Lovely office indeed. Well, you suffer from star guts, which can be a very debilitating condition, and yet you've turned it into a challenge. Yeah, I mean, I was diagnosed when I was 11 years old. Um, it's a condition that affects your central vision. But something that really helped me was, um, was, was my parents. You know, they didn't treat me any different after I was diagnosed. So, yeah, and I think that just um, overlaid, you know, like with um, how I want people to treat me. Um, I didn't want anyone to treat me any different. So I think, yeah, it built my character. And um, obviously life is about choices, you know, so I had a choice to go sit in the corner and feel sorry for myself. But I'd rather stick with the route that um, God wouldn't put something um, on your path that you couldn't handle. What are the implications on the track and in your daily life? Yeah, I mean, athletics-wise, um, it's more environmental issues. For example, uh, I would need to rely on my coach or training mates to um, help me keep the track um, clear. Because if someone crosses the track, they go out of my sight. And all of a sudden, when I'm like a meter away from them, they kind of reappear and then I get a fright. With the Stargard disease, my eyes are very light sensitive. So that's why um, I always run and train with glasses. All these things, you know, just like build my character. And I think in daily life, implications is that I won't be able to get a driver's license. Uh, I won't be able to pass the eye test and uh, my personality is of such a nature to be independent um, and that just causes me to be dependent on people but at the end of the day um, it just makes me a stronger person. Something else that helps give her strength is the love and support of her biggest fan, Cassie Carstens, her high school sweetheart and now husband of seven years. Hey, nice to meet you Cassie. Well listen I've just spent some time with your wife on the track and she is incredible, seriously impressive. She's amazing on the track and off the track. Um. Ah, he's got to say that. <laughs> um, but hey, you guys, um, are you guys hungry? Um, I can dish up a salad for us. A salad? Okay. Uh, you'll change your mind after you've tasted it. Um, while she's busy, I've got a few things in the back there, which I can show you that I've set up. Cool, yeah, love to. To date, Ilza's competed at three Paralympic Games and brought home a total of two golds, two silvers and a bronze. Cassie is justifiably proud. Pride is an understatement, um, and if you look at the way she conducts her daily life and what she does, she still inspires me. If you look back in where we met 2004, we had an inter-schools match between Paul Jim and Paul Boys. And half time it was raining and she said she wants to go sit in the car because she doesn't want to get sick. And I thought, well, you know, this is the big game, why do you want to do this? And she said, no, she does a bit of athletics and they've got a competition around the corner. And it's only afterwards that I learned that she's going to the Paralympics, which I suppose points to humbleness. At the 2004 Greece Games, uh, she just snuck through on the last sort of five meters of the 400 meters and won bronze. And on our second date after the inter-schools match, uh, the medal winners got invited to Sun City and I got to go along with and I suppose from there it was history. Ilza's other achievements include two goals at the IBC Athletic World Champs in 2011 for a 5.8 meter long jump and a 12.49 second 100 meter sprint. Of course there's a lovely picture of Madiba, I'm sure there's a great story behind that. Of all the pictures she's got, that is one of the favourites, uh, one that she cherishes the most. Obviously the world knows what he stood for and all the good that he's done. Uh, she absolutely adores what he did. 
thanks to a degree in sports science from Stellenbosch University, Ilsa knows the importance of healthy eating and by the look of the salad she's prepared, how to ensure it's delicious too. Ilza, nutrition is obviously a very important factor in your training. Yeah, I mean definitely, um, you know, I'm also, I'm always of the opinion whatever you put into your body um, is the result that you're going to get out of it. And also for us it's really important to have um, recovery, either a shake or a meal um, straight after training, you know, like uh, within like the first um, 30 minutes. As, as much as you put like all the effort on, onto the track, you know, like in your training or, or your gym training, um, it's really important to, um, to get your nutrition um, up to standard as well. Well, your husband is, is quite clearly very proud of you. How important is your family support? It's really important, you know, I'm, I'm really privileged to have a husband, you know, that he's there in the lows, he's there in the highs, um, he's there every step of the way. I don't think um, you can go on this journey uh, without loved ones, without people that, you know, believe in you. Yeah, just have fun together, I'm, re I'm really blessed. Well, I know I speak for the entire South Africa when I say we're so very proud of you and we're behind you all the way. So uh, go over there and do your best and bring back the gold, why not? Yeah, I mean, thanks for the support. I'm not putting an impression on myself. I'm just going to go out there and, and to live my dream, you know, and to go and have fun. That's really important to have fun. Well, here's to your dream and this lovely salad. Enjoy. While Ilsa's got the support of her family, she can count on the support of our nation too.